Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today's just going to be a really quick video and I'm going to be showing you how to use Nudge Palette within Logic. So you probably haven't heard of Nudge Palette before, it's a fairly hidden feature, but it basically lets you move things around and try out different rhythms. So it's a really useful tool to help you uh, sort of experiment with different rhythms in your tracks, different grooves. Um, and so yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you how it works basically. So the way that you can uh, show the nudge palette is that you come up here to the menu bar and uh, click on this button here to show the toolbar. And here in the toolbar we've got all sorts of different settings. Uh, by the way, you need your advanced settings enabled. And so here we've got the nudge value, which is how much the region will move by when we do nudge it. So right now by default it's set to a 16th note. So that means that if I grab this piano region here, uh, and then I click the button to nudge it, it's moving by a 16th note every time. And the 16th means 1 16th of a bar. So if this said a, a full note, then you can see it's moving by a whole bar each time. If it says a quarter note, it's moving by a quarter of a bar each time, which is a beat. Um, so I'll just play this back for you with everything in its usual position and then we'll nudge stuff around and try out some different grooves because that's basically what this nudge palette here does and that's what we're exploring today. So we can try moving it across by a quarter note. I'll grab it first. So it sounds pretty cool and it's pretty kind of hip hop. Uh, it's really kind of like Jay Dealer. If you've heard Jay Dealer, he's um, like a really famous beat producer and it's basically in his style of moving things around rhythmically. Uh, so you could definitely make some Jay Dealer style tracks using Nudge Palette. Uh, so let's just try moving it forwards um, or backwards, sorry, a uh, an eighth note so that now it's on an off beat. So I think that sounds really cool, especially when you get to the end here and then it cuts out and comes back in later. So that's how you can nudge regions around, uh, but you can also nudge around individual MIDI notes. So I'll just swap here to, uh, I've got a MIDI region here. Uh, these are all just Apple loops, by the way. I just thought it'd be really easy to demo this stuff to you guys. And um, there's heaps of good loops that come with Logic. Um, so I'll play you this. So what we can do is select as many notes as we want and then nudge them using this button here just like we did with the regions before. So I'm just going to move this over by, actually I'll move it by two sixteenth notes. So that's basically an eighth note. So you can hear that there's a bit of tension that's created there where you're waiting for this chord uh, to sound. And if I move it forwards by a 16th note, it'll really catch you by surprise. So we can mess around with different chords here. Uh, See how it sounds. So we've created a pretty different uh, loop than what we had before, and then we can even move this whole region around, uh, so say by an eighth note, and this is likely to get pretty weird. So it's not working in this case, but if you spend some time adjusting the rhythm so that it did make sense, you could achieve some really cool things with this. 
Uh, one other final thing I want to tell you guys is that there is a keyboard shortcut for this nudging so you don't have to come up here and press it every time. You can just hit the alt key on the keyboard so that's what I'm doing now and then I can use the left and right arrows to move the region around or equally just like we did before you can select notes and then type alt and use the left and right arrows on the keyboard and move them around. And also you can change the nudge value just by right clicking and going, where is it, move, set nudge value to, and uh, now you can choose the nudge value in here as well. And you've got the same exact things here. So there you go, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all about how to use this nudge tool. And uh, you can subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, because uh, I'm making them regularly. And hopefully I'll see you soon. It's Thanks again for watching. Morning, another day I'm seeing daylight. No sleep, I got a break night. Sometimes I go and break mics.